Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got your usual breakdown for Isanzo's 27th dev blog. So, this week's blog was pretty short, and as a result, I'm gonna try and keep this corresponding video pretty brief as well. But with this one, we have a lot more details about the mountain gun that we discussed in the last breakdowns for the Dolomites map. So these mountain guns will be the largest player manned ordnance in Isanzo, and will be able to be built by engineers at predetermined locations on the map. Now I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard mountain guns, I immediately thought of the fortress guns from BF1, but Isanzo being more based in realism, these are a lot different, and look much more like traditional artillery. The reason they're called mountain guns is actually the result of their specially designed role in portability. Traditionally, artillery pieces were too heavy and cumbersome to be carried up the slopes of the the Italian Alps, and these guns were designed to be broken down into many smaller pieces and carried up into hard to reach places by horseback. Just like everything on the Italian front of World War I, harsh terrain influenced the tactics and equipment of both sides, and these mountain guns are probably one of the greatest examples of that. So now for the specifics of them. The Italians will have the Italian Canon de 65 Model 13. This fires 65mm shells, which is significantly larger than the other manned mortar options in the game. And then on the other side of things, the Austro-Hungarians have the, oh, this pronunciation, Gebirgskanon Model 1915, which fired a larger 75mm round, which should have an absolutely devastating effect on target. One last important detail is that teamwork will be absolutely essential for these to prove effective. As you can see in the last frame of this gif, there's a scout that's actively spotting to correct the artillery's accuracy. The guns also require a steady source of ammunition via rifleman ammo bag, and then finally you'll need troops on the front lines to request where and when fire support is actually necessary. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail here from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.